This is Daniel Watts for KDB News. We have a cold front moving down from the north. That's cold and dry air. And it's coming down over eastern Ontario. And then we have, down here in the Gulf of Mexico, warm, moist air coming up. And they're meeting right over Ottawa, Ontario, our fair city. Now over to our man in the field, Doug. Thank you, Bob. And as you can see, these massive cloud formations have been forming tornadoes all along our region. Our fair city, it's ruins everywhere. Now, we're going over to Frank by the airfield. He seems to be having a little bit of trouble. Oh my god! Well, we seem to have lost signal. Hopefully he's doing just fine. Back to you. Thank you, Doug. We at KDB Television would like to remind you that you need to be alert to what's happening outside if you live in the greater Ottawa Fairview area. If you see a sickish green, green or greenish black color in the sky, be alert. If there is a watch or warning posted, then the fall of hail should be considered as a warning sign. A strange quiet that occurs before or shortly after a thunderstorm can be taken as a warning. Clouds moving by very fast, especially in rotating patterns, can be considered very dangerous. If you see, even without a funnel cloud, twigs being sucked upward, you need to get under cover. And if there are debris falling from the sky, the same thing applies. An obvious funnel-shaped cloud that's rotating can be taken as the ultimate danger sign. You need to get underground right away. Uh, please be careful. Tornadoes, harbingers of massive destruction wherever they touch down. They can stretch from being 100 yards across to a mile across. But what are tornadoes, and how are they formed? These are some of the questions we hope to answer tonight on The Science Guy. Three in the air. This is a tornado. A tornado is defined by the glossary of meteorology as a violently rotating column of air in contact with the ground, either pendant from a cumuliform cloud or underneath a cumuliform cloud and often, but not always, visible as a funnel cloud. Basically, this means that it's a tube of air that comes down from a cloud and touches the ground. Most tornadoes have wind speeds between 40 miles per hour and 110 miles per hour, and are approximately 250 feet across. They travel a few miles before dissipating. However, stronger more potent tornadoes can attain wind speeds of more than 300 miles per hour, stretch more than one mile across, and stay on the ground for dozens of miles before dissipating. Scientists are actually not entirely sure of the circumstances that cause tornadoes, but they're generally associated with conditions in advance of cold fronts and weather forecasts include tornado watches when these conditions arise. 
Tornadoes can occur, however, ahead of warm fronts or even behind cold fronts. They're frequently associated with hurricanes. The tornadic activity in Ottawa tonight is the result of a supercell. A supercell is a severe thunderstorm with a deep, continuously rotating updraft, also known as a mesocyclone. The majority of tornadoes that we see in eastern Ontario are the result of supercells. As I mentioned earlier, supercells contain areas called mesocyclones, one to each supercell. These are areas of organized rotation a few miles up in the atmosphere, usually one to six miles across. In these areas, very heavy rain, frequent lightning, strong wind gusts, and hail are all very common. Most tornadoes from supercells follow a recognizable life cycle. That begins when increasing rainfall drags the mesocyclone with it in an area of quickly descending air known as the rear flank downdraft, or RFD. This downdraft accelerates as it approaches the ground and drags the supercell's rotating mesocyclone towards the ground with it. As the mesocyclone approaches the ground, a visible condensation funnel appears to descend from the base of the storm, often from a rotating wall cloud. As the funnel descends, the rotating downdraft also reaches the ground, creating a gust front that can cause damage a good distance from the tornado. Usually, a tornado forms within five minutes of the rear flank downdraft reaching the ground. Once it's formed, the tornado has a good source of warm, moist inflow to power it, so it grows until it reaches what is called the mature stage. This stage can last anywhere from a few minutes to more than an hour, and during that time a tornado often causes the most damage, and in rare cases can be more than a mile across. Meanwhile, the rear flank downdraft, now an area of cool surface winds, begins to wrap around the tornado cutting off the inflow of warm air which feeds the tornado and keeps it alive. As the RFD completely wraps around and chokes off the tornado's air supply, the tornado's vortex begins to weaken and become thin and rope-like. This is called the dissipating stage, often lasting no more than a few minutes, after which the tornado fizzles. During this time, the shape of the tornado can vary quite wildly and is very influenced by the winds of the parent storm. Even though the tornado is dissipating, the tornado is still create capable of causing damage. The storm is contracting into a rope-like tube, and like the ice skater who pulls her arms in to spin faster, winds can increase at this point. Inside the tornado, there's an area of low pressure. This is caused because the air at the bottom of the tornado is sucked up into the atmosphere and there isn't enough pressure pushing down because all the air is moving upward to maintain the normal surface pr pressure of this part of the earth. So if an object enters the tornado, an object such as a house, the house will explode, not in fire, but the air inside will force its way out violently. This makes tornadoes very effective at causing damage. That is, if the house has survived the 40 mile per hour minimum wind speed that a tornado has on the outside. So you get damages like are being shown. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. So, um, until next week, be sciencey and use bigger words than I do. Good night.
Get this going, ready. This is Daniel Watts for KDB News. We have a cold front. Thank you, Bob. As you can see, we have this massive tornado. It's just wrecked through our fair city. Now you can see, these were our parliament buildings. But now if you look at it, all you can see is just rubble. Oh wait, I have to say, okay. Go.